Hello, I'm back. I've still not had a haircut, so you'll have to excuse me on that one. The last couple of weeks have been pretty mental, actually. We've been delivering the marketing media for Cambridge Half Marathon. It was an amazing opportunity for me to run a team, pick content creators, and understand kind of a bit more behind the scenes of these amazing events. So it's 15,000 runners. We had a team of 12 on the ground, including myself, doing yeah drone work, marketing videos, stills, everything to publish the 2024 event and celebrate how good the 2023 one was. This is a bit of the content we got. If you haven't checked the highlights video, I'll post a link to that now. But first of all, here's the intro and I'll see you in a second. together the media team so there are a few content creators I really wanted to work with some of them were available some of them weren't available that was really cool so reached out to everyone check their availability we were putting it together on a really tight turnaround so I only found out I had the job early February which was about a month before the event uh, or maybe maybe it was like end of January so I had about five six weeks to put a team together so I started with the drone guys, obviously that comes with the most paperwork, you had to, Cambridge has got a little airport so we had to run it through the airport, check we had the right drones, check that the takeoff points were right, work out contingencies in case there was rain. We had an operational drone up as well which was monitoring the site for safety reasons, feeding back the control room and the police, that was really interesting. Yeah, I worked with a local company for that called Skytech in Cambridge. Mark, their founder, really knows his stuff and was really easy to work with. He put a great shift in over the weekends. Really appreciate his time. We had the video team, which was run by Chris Sansom, who I've worked with quite a lot. He's done some work with us at the various Outlaw events. He did the quick turnaround stuff. A highlights video, a few reels that were to go out the week of the event. Chris edited all of them was really good and then passed all the footage over to me to continue to edit which is obviously what you'll see through this video. I sent the brief to the photographer so we had six photographers one of which was James Clark just James Media so you might have seen some of his stuff with Harry Palmer it was really cool to work with him and get to know him a little bit more he's a really good photographer and appreciated his time and then there are a few others on the ground that um, you may, you probably won't have come across, but I really like their work. If I did, we got, you know, probably about five hours of uh, footage, which will be edited into, you know, a lot of reels through the year that you'll see. And we provided three and a half thousand photos on a 48 hour turnaround from the finish, which as you can imagine, didn't involve much sleep, did involve a lot of coffee, but was super rewarding. I set the brief to the photographers. I wanted them to show the scale of the event, both whether that's the scale of the buildings next to the runners, the how that feels, the number of runners. So they got to interpret that how they wanted. I also wanted them to show you know, the diversity of the event. You've got young, you've got old, you've got all kinds of shapes and sizes of running, people from all different walks of life. So I really wanted to celebrate how unique that volume of event is. We also, I wanted to show the speed. So it's obviously a very fast course. The winner's clocking 65, uh, which was Nick Bowker, who, yeah, shout out to Nick. I actually shot him at a wedding earlier last summer. So yeah, it's cool to see him on the top step, along with a few familiar faces kicking around. Yeah, we wanted to really celebrate the mixture of the event. I really wanted to show the architecture of the city. Obviously, I've got an architecture degree, so it was really important to me to capture what running in Cambridge felt like and what you see on the way and how that feels. I briefed everyone, they turned up ready to go on a very, very cold morning. It was only just above zero degrees Celsius. So yeah, everyone chipped in. We ended up with 20,000 photos before editing and yeah, a, a whole variety of styles of shooting, which was really cool to see how everyone interpreted the brief. I left it very open-ended because I picked the content creators for a reason and the reason wasn't for me to tell them how I would shoot it. I was obviously on the ground shooting, split them around the course and made sure everyone had a certain section um, and then shot for sort of three, four hours before coming back to HQ and dishing memory cards. Here's a montage, a selection of videos and photos that we really enjoyed. Like I said before, if you haven't seen it, head over to a 
check the extended highlights video. It's not very extended, it's just a few minutes long, but that was really cool to put together. Um, and check out the other content creators. So it's, so it's C Sansom, you'll be able to find them all on the 226 page on the people that we're following. So they're all in there and Just James Media is also worth checking out. Verity Sansom, Chris's wife, she's an amazing family portrait and baby photographer. So it was really cool to see the way she interpreted people's reactions. And yeah, thanks guys for your time and I'll see you in a new video soon.